We live in a world where information is always at our fingertips. Thanks to, to technology, we can easily communicate with family and friends, shop online, see different posts on social media. We read and learn new information every day. As a result, we can easily be misled and misinformed. It is now necessary more than ever before to learn how to use and how to read this information for life skills. In the latest Reading Literacy PISA report, 15-year-olds in Kazakhstan scored 387 points in comparison to an average of 487 points in other OECD countries. This means that the development of reading and literacy skills should become a priority for all schools in Kazakhstan. When I teach reading literacy in my classroom, I always focus on developing three major reading competences, which are uh, finding and retrieving, integrating and interpreting, reflecting and evaluating. It's important for my students to read not only uh, print medium text, but also digital ones, such as uh, different types of uh, websites, online infographics and posts on social media. Functional reading plays a very important role in my practice. I always try to incorporate various types of text, including continuous and non-continuous texts. Questions types matter too. Open-ended questions are broad and can be answered in detail, while close-ended questions are narrow in focus and usually answered with a pick from limited multiple choice options. When analyzing text, questions are made in accordance with Bloom's Taxonomy and Program for International Student Assessment Framework. Dialogic reading is another approach that I use in my lessons. It is interactive for students of all levels, effective with fiction and non-fiction text, and student-centered. In today's integrated lesson on the topic immune defense and coronavirus in grade 10, you will be able to see different educational technologies and resources from Believe Media Group, which are used to develop reading and information literacy skills of my students. I hope you like it. Right, so today in this lesson, we are going to talk about immune defense and um, coronavirus disease. So let's move on to the objectives of today's lesson. So first, we are going to watch a short film on the topic immune defense. Then we are going to read in pairs. Um, we're going to read the text on the same topic and you will be able to read and understand the main idea of this text. Then we are going to evaluate sources using uh, the framework radar and finally at the end of the lesson uh, you will be able to reflect on today's lesson. Do you have any questions? Is everything clear? Right. So uh, we will start the class with, um, with watching the film which is called uh, Immune System, Immune Defense and first we need to read the questions uh, and understand them. Your body is under constant attack. This video resource from Twig Berlin is effectively used as a pre-learning activity. It appears to be a useful way to help my students prepare for learning by providing audio-visual images of how our immune system works. It also activates students' background knowledge from other subjects such as chemistry and biology. What are the physical barriers of our immune system? Um, okay, please. And okay, do you mean hair? Yeah, tiny, tiny hair, good job. The last question is, what is the key role of our uh, immune system? Um, Sofia? Uh, the key role is to predict uh, our immune system uh, of bacteria and virus. Yeah, good, good job. Do you, do you agree with uh, Sofia? Yes, we do. Excellent. This stage of the lesson, students need to find and highlight the immune system vocabulary taken from the reading text. Word search puzzles is a great scaffolding strategy to use with your students. You can make your own word search game on any topic you like. This can be done online as well as easily printed. Let's move on to the main part of our lesson. We are going to read the text. Um, which is based on the short film that we watched from Twig Berlin. And it is called uh, Immune Defense and uh, its Physical Barriers. Right, so now in pairs, we need to read the text and answer eight questions. The students read the text from Twig Berlin and answer the questions. These questions are aimed at developing three major reading competences. 
First, access and retrieve. Second, integrate and interpret. And third, reflect and evaluate. Quiz your classmate technique is used when answering questions. This allows to differentiate teaching in class because students provide support and feedback to each other before sharing their answers with the class. Finally, um, do you agree that people need to receive vaccinations uh, against uh, various types of uh, bacteria and diseases? Yeah, Nurbo. I agree with this opinion. I think people need to, to receive vaccination against this disease because this disease is dangerous for our lives. And if we receive this uh, vaccine, we save people, uh, people's no, 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 people like mm -hmm. from Yeah, good job, excellent. Right, guys, so let's move on to the next stage. And um, in this part of the lesson, we are going to work on developing our information literacy skills. So what we have to do now, first, in groups of four, you need to find one source online on the topic immune system and coronavirus using your mobile devices. Second, you need to evaluate this resource using the framework, which is called Radar. And finally, uh, you will have to share this information with the rest of the class. Is the task clear to you? Yes. Okay, yes, you can start working now. Students in groups of four find different sources of information online about coronavirus, such as a leaflet, an online article, TV news report and Google statistics. Group work can be an effective method to motivate students and encourage active learning. It can also develop critical thinking, communication and decision-making skills. The radar framework in this lesson is used by students to evaluate the quality, credibility and relevance of information. Okay, so is, is the task clear to you? Yeah, now I want these members to move to the next group and share this information with other students. So let's start. The jigsaw strategy is used at this stage of the lesson. It asks a group of students to become experts on a specific source of information and then share that material with another group of students. Why use the jigsaw? According to previous research studies, this activity helps students to learn, acquire knowledge, understand better and improve students' learning behaviors. Uh, I think the source isn't uh, something new to my knowledge uh, because uh, many people uh, informed uh, about coronavirus and uh, uh, this information isn't new. And when, when was this um, article published? When? Could you uh, the material published on December 31st, 2020. 2020, so around two years ago, yeah? That's why we can, we can say that the information is quite uh, out of date. So um, at the end of uh, today's lesson, I would like you to answer some questions on, um, on today's topic, immune defense and coronavirus. So uh, here on the screen, you can see the first question and four choices. So please read the question and choose the correct answer. Mobile phone is effectively used at the end of the lesson in the reflection part. It is a quick, fun and simple way to check understanding and get feedback from every student. Online MCTEM is a great tool for flipped classroom approach and it is used to introduce my students to content at home and practice working through it at school. This platform is easy to use, provides feedback, has an online chat and stores more than 100,000 interactive exercises. I hope you find this lesson informative. Many thanks to the Berlin Media Group team for all the educational resources available in Kazakhstan. I think it is important to know how to read information. Reading skills are important. For example, when I buy medicine, in pharmacies. I can apply different reading techniques uh, in order to understand if this medicine is right for me. We read much information every day. For example, I see a lot of fake news in the social media about COVID-19. 
uh, I know how to analyze and evaluate it. Uh, this may help me to decide if I need vaccination or uh, against this disease. I am involved in several research projects at school. It's necessary for me to know how to find uh, accurate and uh, credible sources. For example, I know how to evaluate sources using radar technologies. Today's lesson helped me with my future job. I'm in grade 10. I want to become a lawyer in future, but I haven't chosen the right university yet. So I can find information. Uh, I can find information and read it online uh, to find all the opportunities for me, uh, including studying abroad.